test was the 19th of January. So um, because I went to Kilimanjaro at the end of January and the beginning of February, which was like only found out about in December, um, they had to bring my test forward quite a bit. And, and like I rang them and I was like, look, I'm out of the country. When can I come for my test? And they were like, the only time we have is next week. So I was like, oh my God. Um, but it meant that I had to wait six weeks for my results. So um, getting my results in three weeks on the 3rd of March. No, 1st of March. Um, I went to my appointment with my genetic counsellor, who I've been seeing since I was 18. So I've got a really good relationship with her. Um, and she was like, you know, I have to go through the, you, through the genetics with you the, just one more time, just to make sure that you're clear. So she went through the science of everything again, just like she had done in previous appointments. Um, and I went to get my arm out for a blood test, thinking it was a blood test. I mean, she has told me before it's not a blood test, but I don't know why. And she was like, no, we just take a swab of your mouth. And I on, I was flabbergasted. I can't believe that they could tell that, I've, like, if, that I'll develop Huntington's disease from the saliva in my mouth. Like, I know obviously that's DNA and genes and like, if it is, if I do have it, then it's obviously everywhere because it's part of my chromosomes and stuff. But yeah, that was just very strange. Um, yeah, so um, came away from that appointment. I don't know, I didn't really feel any different. I thought I kind of built it up in my mind to be in this like really big thing and yeah, I didn't really feel any different. I felt quite relieved, to be honest. Like, I'd spent all those years making making a choice, and I'd finally done it. Um, then I told her I was going up Kilimanjaro. She was like, well, I've heard of some people distracting themselves from waiting for their test results, doing things, but that's definitely the craziest way of <laughs> distracting yourself. Um, and it just made Kilimanjaro that bit more, like, important to me because I wasn't just climbing for, like, my mum's future and the future of others with HD but like possibly my own I mean I, I, that's always been in the back of my mind but yeah so I haven't told my mum still I've told my dad I haven't told my sister so they're probably gonna watch this and be quite upset that I haven't told them that was my boyfriend watching football um but I hope they understand the reasons why I really do um but yeah see you soon